Hi, welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine and today we continue talking about the difference between TOEFL and IELTS. Actually, we're seeing similarities and differences. Last video, we saw similarities and differences in the reading part. Today, we're going to talk about similarities and differences in the listening part. Okay, so we know that for TOEFL, reading is the first part, but for IELTS, reading is the second part. So, in TOEFL, the second part is listening, and in IELTS, the first part is listening. First, we're going to talk about the similarities. There aren't many. <laughs> if any part is more different from the other, it is this one. There are lots of differences, but we want to talk about similarities. Similarities. You will hear different sections. Similarities. Uh, they speak English. Similarities. You will have to answer questions. And maybe that's about it. They are very different. Starting in the length, the IELTS exam takes no longer than 30 minutes. And the TOEFL exam might take an hour or even more. Because remember, if you get three passages in the reading part in TOEFL, it means that you will get extra audios in the listening part. But if you have extra passages in the reading part, then you, do, you will have just a normal one hour <laughs> of listening, which is a lot. Another difference. Well, in the format, the format of the listening is also different because when you're doing IELTS, you are in a room with a lot of people, but more like a normal classroom or when you're taking an exam. So you will listen to an external audio. When you are in TOEFL, you will have your headphones and you are the only one hearing what you are hearing uh, because everybody is with their own computer and doing everything at their own pace. Obviously, in IELTS, you will have to write with an answer sheet on the answer sheet and you might have to mark answers, write words uh, or else. In TOEFL, you only have to click on the right answer but you do use paper in this part of the exam. You can also use it in the reading part, although you might not even have time to do that. But in the listening, you need to use the paper they give you. They will provide you with pencil and paper. In TOEFL, you don't know exactly what you're going to be asked, but you do know that you have to take notes of as much as you can. In IELTS, it, they present the exam very differently. First, in IELTS, you will see the questions and they give you time to read the questions before you listen to the part of the audio regarding those questions, which is a really good thing. In TOEFL, it's very different. You will hear a whole conversation or lecture because that is what you hear and you have to take notes because they are long conversations. Maybe it's a three minute conversation so you're not going to remember all it, all the details they talked about, you really need to write. Also, when there's a lecture, the lecture may be five minutes or six minutes, so you really need to take notes especially because it will be information that you're learning about for the first time. Now, the content in both uh, listening parts is also different. In IELTS, there are four parts, and the first part is also the easiest. Like in reading, the first reading is easier. Also, in listening, the first part of the listening is easier. But it's easier because it will be about somebody in a familiar place talking about their names, their address, and you will probably have to spell the name and write. And that's supposed to be easy. And sometimes it's not because you haven't practiced enough your spelling or your basic abilities in listening, which you have to study. Besides, you know that one wrong letter and that point is completely lost. That is uh, in IELTS. And then the next sections become a little harder. They might, you might have to identify places on the map, maybe give some more information about places in which you see some other people. And then let's say the third and fourth part become more academic, lecture-like, um, also the complexity of the questions is higher and the time you have to read the question is lower, so you have to be faster. 
on um, part three and on um, part four. Because they are lectures on academic topics, but they are very understandable. In TOEFL, you only have a campus setting. That means that if there's a conversation, the conversation might be between two students, might be between a professor and a student, a teaching assistant and a student, a librarian, there's somebody on campus. Every conversation has to do with some assignment, with uh, an exam, with jobs that you get at the university, with dormitory life. So everything is set on that context. And the lectures, the part of the lectures, they feel more academic than the ones on IELTS. And sometimes you have even students uh, ask, asking questions or answering questions or giving examples, interacting in general with the professor who's giving the lecture. So there are differences. But in TOEFL, you will never be asked to write something, to spell something which you are asked to in IELTS for specific words. In IELTS, they will ask you for the specific name, for the specific word, for the paraphrase of the specific word written, or to say something in no more than three words, to say the number, or they, then to match what you hear with what is on the paper. In TOEFL, they, they won't ask you for that kind of detail, but in general, you know, the, the well, there are questions that are more like in the reading comprehension, like in general, they ask about the whole audio that you just heard, what it was about, what was the purpose of the speakers. Uh, also, there is a specific part in which they ask you, why did the speaker say this? In which they put an expression that somebody used to mean something else. So that you will get in TOEFL. Besides all the questions about what happened, uh, about uh, the reasons why somebody did something or stopped doing it or the parts of something that were mentioned in the lecture that is why you really need to take lots of notes some people say that they really don't even look at the notes but I don't know it's a personal choice but what I feel and what I've experienced that even when I don't have to look at the paper just writing on the paper makes you uh, not to lose focus because that would be the most challenging part in TOEFL these conversations these lectures are so long that you can easily lose your focus and just stop taking notes or stop paying attention so writing really helps you pay attention continue paying attention because they are going to add something about what you are writing what you are hearing about and it's important to take notes and if you like get lost for a second just to stop and continue that getting lost for a second uh, is also very important for IELTS there you have a similarity you can lose your focus there not because you are hearing for so long but because um, the questions are in order so they ask you to read questions from one to six for example so you read the questions you know more or less what you are going to listen to and then you start hearing and you see that what they say first answers to the first question what they say second answers to the second question and then you can get stuck like looking at the third question waiting for an answer and then you miss the answer and, and you see that they are suddenly talking about the fifth question and you can like lose it and stop doing it you have to go back and if this the fifth question forget about the third and the fourth or maybe you will guess later but don't lose where you are if you are on the fifth and you miss the third forget it you miss the third you have to move on you have to continue with the pace they give you okay those are the similarities and difficulties and difficulties similarities differences and difficulties in listening uh for TOEFL and IELTS I hope you like this video I hope uh, you comment please on this uh which thing you want me to make a video on if not I'll just do in the videos about the things I think are good thank you for watching subscribe and see you soon